good morning uh, welcome to the next session of our uh, uh, course that is production planning and control in the last class we have discussed about what are the basic definitions that has given by a few others about uh, what is production planning what is production control and what is production planning and control combination and we have seen how an industry will be uh, why ppc is necessary in industry and what are the various advantages of uh, establishing an a ppc uh, department in a industry we have seen uh, we have uh, briefly discussed about those things in the last class so in today's class we will just uh, see why ppc is needed in detail uh, why it is important in establishing in an industry uh, in order to make it uh, a advantages so the first one is the effective uh, utilization of firm resources the first and the foremost thing of uh, establishing a production planning and control department in uh, an organization is nothing but so to effectively utilize the firm resources so for any firm for example if it is an academic firm it's nothing but uh, the resources are nothing but faculty the labs or the libraries or any other things that uh, push up the in academics so likewise in an industry if you consider an industry the firm resources are nothing but the four m's that are for four m's that is uh, man machine methods and materials so these four things are very much important in any industry so <clears throat> the ppc will be looking after how effectively we can utilize those things the material without wasting the material how perfectly we can use with a small amount of raw materials how we, how we can produce more number of products without wasting of uh, more material likewise machines keeping the machines as an ideal rather than keeping them ideal how we can utilize uh, in performing some useful work uh, uh, with that we can produce more number of products likewise the men allotting the work uh, equally to the men and uh, making them engaged to the work in all the <laughs> aspects rather than keeping them idle likewise whatever the resources are there all the resources are to be effectively utilized by an industry in order to make the production more and to increase their profits so the ppc helps in identifying those resources what are the resources that are available and how effectively they can be utilized in every factor so this ppc will be looking after so that's why ppc is uh, this uh, ppc is most important in uh, organizations the next one is to achieve the production objectives with the respective quality quantity cost and times these four are nothing but the production objectives whatever the production objectives of a production are nothing but to maintain the quality at the same time to produce the right quantity at the same time we need to give you the produce the quantities with effective cost and also by maintaining the time sense so whatever the customer is ex ex expecting from us so whatever the delivery date has given to us so at the same time we need to deliver the products because if the uh, time exceeds then automatically it will be both a loss for the uh, product producer as well as the customer so that's why we need to maintain the timeliness of the delivering the products so these four are the production objectives we call it as so one is quality the second one is quantity and the time and cost so these four things are to be maintained in a uh, balanced way then only the firm can be effective uh, can be uh, we can say that it will be sustainable in the market so how we can expect this quality the quantity the cost and timeliness is nothing but by utilizing the firm resources in, in a effective way the previous one so if the if we maintain the quality uh, mach machines in a quality way and men in an effective way then automatically the quality of the uh, product will be increased and also the quantity also can be produced more so if we are able to produce the products in a very effective manner automatically the production cost of producing that product will be come down so automatically we can reduce the cost of that product also so in that sense the cost can be maintained and also the timeliness of the delivery so a perfect planning and execution of producing that products helps in uh, uh, deliver the products in a uh, predetermined time so the third objective is to obtain the uninterrupted production flow in order to 
meet customer very demand with respect to means the demand is not at all constant in the market so uh, today uh, the product uh, demand of that product may be more and the other day the demand of the product may be come down so the product is not constant for any product the product the demand is not constant in the market in that sense uh, in that varied demand the organization should be make it adjustable to the variation of the demand and accordingly it should plan how many number of products it need to produce and send it to the market if the demand is more it has to plan in such a way that more number of products have to be sent it to the market if the production is less uh, demand is less automatically the production should be reduced because producing of more number of content, uh, uh, components will make the uh, industry in a losses so in that way we need to adjust or we need to see in such a way that there should be no interruptions in the production flow either by the uh, lack of material either by the lack of uh, manpower either by the lack of uh, machines problems or any other thing so we need to see in such a way there should be no interruptions in producing the product in the production flow so in such a way we need to see uh, there should be no. so like in that manner this PPC will be helpful in uh, making that uh, uninterpreted, uh, uninterrupted production flows in an industry so and uh, the final is to help the company to supply good quality products to the customer on a continuous basis so if we are able to uh, produce the things in a uh, if we able to plan the things and execute the things in a right manner automatically the company will be able to produce a good quality products uh, products uh, on the customer needs according to so the basic objectives we have seen the needs of the uh, ppc why ppc has to be needed because one is we have seen that it uh, in order to uh, use the resources in an effective manner and uh, whatever the objectives of an industry in order to meet that objectives and also to make the system in a continuous flow without having any interruptions and finally to produce the good quality products so these are the need of ppc and the objectives of ppc or production planning department so if we compare if we divide those things ppc into two different uh, things P production planning and product production control because production planning is the first uh, stage of uh, the work after planning then as after the work has been started then production control department comes into the scene so what is the objectives of production planning if you see to determine the requirements of men material methods and machines so the first thing is whatever the four resources are there main resources of any industry that are men materials methods and machines so they need to identify so what department having how much how many number of uh, manpower is there how much amount of uh, material is available in the stores and how much how many machines are there and what is the capacity of each machine likewise how many uh, if the if we come to manpower how many of the knowledgeable or how many of them are uh, less uh, uh, skilled so in that sense we need to have a, each and every detailed information about the firm resources so this ppc will look after for any uh, producing of any component or any product so what is the requirement of manpower what is the requirement of material methods and uh, machines in that sense uh, it will look after so if we take an example for any software industry if any uh, main pro many number of projects are available for any industry automatically they are going to hire some uh, extra manpower in order to complete that things after the completion in a contract basis and after the completion of the work they are going to fire them in that sense uh, whenever we are going to produce any product and uh, depending upon the demand of the product uh, it is going to identify what is the requirement of uh, men material methods and uh, machines this planning department will be seeing so basing upon the type of work and the demand of that work it is going to identify those things and uh, arranging production schedules according to the needs of the market so uh, in the last uh, we have seen so the demand is not uh, constant in the market it uh, goes on rising or fall down so, so uh, it's it, it doesn't maintain in a constant way there will be some slight changes variations so according to the needs of that market so we need to adjust the production schedules means if if it is requiring more number of uh, products we need to adjust the schedule so that we can produce more number of products if it requires less means we need to adjust the reschedule the schedules according to the produ production 
and the third one is arranging various inputs at the right time and in right quantity this this is the most important thing because in order to maintain or in order to maintain a continuous flow in the industry without having any interruptions this is the most important thing means we need to identify what is the right input at the right time so what type of material is it, it is needed how much quantity it is needed what is the material it is needed or machines it needed or any other special fixtures or jigs or anything so what is the requirement in order to produce that product that should be made it available before the production starts so because the production should not be stopped because of lack of material lack of manpower or any machine problem machine breakdown problems or anything so before itself we need to look after how much amount of material is re really required is that material is really available in the stores or not and what is the conditions of the machineries and how much amount of manpower is required so we need to calculate and accordingly we need to made it available before the production starts so and uh, making the most economical use of various inputs so whatever the inputs are there we need to make it in a economical inputs are nothing but uh, the tools or uh, the materials all those things so we need to uh, convert the raw materials into a finished product so in order to maintain uh, convert this material raw material we need we are going to use various methods so these methods are to be used in a economical way economical way means so the material if you are using the material more most uh, we, we should see in such a way that uh, less amount of material is going to waste so economical way we need to use so less number of uh, uh, less quantity of material should be waste and the most more number of uh, most quantity of the material is to be utilized for uh, producing that uh, product so likewise in uh, using the machines also machine should not be run ideal you should not see that the machine is running ideal or uh, it is uh, kept ideal without any uh, doing the work so we should not use that one so whatever we should not keep those things in an ideal condition so we should use those things in a very economic economical means it's in the sense making the resources or the financial things in a correct manner to achieve a coordination among various departments relating to production so this ppc will uh, uh, maintain the coordination between the departments how many departments are there because coming to the mechanical engineering department we know when we have, whenever we are going to use any product whenever we are going to produce any product there are different phases of uh, producing that product not only uh, within one department the production will be completed so it has to move on to certain stages uh, for example lathe section or milling section or drilling section or finishing and likewise assembly so different departments are there so there should be a coordination means there should be uh, the information should be passed to each and every department what is happening in the first department and what is happening in the last department or what is happening in between departments so that the work can be transferred or uh, in a smooth manner in order uh, in order to produce the products in a fast way so and to make all arrangements to remove possible obstacles in the way of smooth production so we should see that there are no obstacles obstacles means lack of production or lack of manpower or machine breakdowns so we need to look before itself to maintain those things in and to remove uh, obstacles in the production process to achieve economy in a production cost and time if you are able to plan and execute the things in the correct way so without uh, wasting the things and in an economical way then automatically the cost of production will be reduced and uh, the time is also consumed very less so that's why we can uh, achieve economy in the cost and time and uh, the plant uh, can also be <coughs> run in a plant efficiency whatever the plant efficiency there so accordingly we can operate the plant in the, that efficiency so for every if 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 we consider a manpower manpower will be having some efficiency so in the morning time he will be uh, able to do more number of work uh, coming to the evening sections the efficiency of the manpower will be decreased likewise the industries also will be having its own efficiency the, what is the capable of machines the capability of manpowers and everything based upon those things the efficiencies will be based on so this ppc will be looking after because it is going to consider the man material methods and machines the capacity of the machine as well the capacity of the manpower and the type of materials are used the type of methods we are using so basing considering all those things we can uh, uh, maintain the efficiency of the plant in the correct manner 
and making efforts to achieve production targets in time finally our motto is to deliver the products to the in the to the customer in the right time so uh, by using this we can achieve these things and providing adequate stock for meeting in emergencies it's not only whatever the customer requirements is there we can also stock it uh, for uh, the coming days in future if the demand increases and coming for uh, production control so production control comes into picture after production planning has been completed and production has started so this uh, production control comes into picture so the first thing is uh, to implement production plans by issuing orders to those who are supposed to implement them so whenever we are going to start any new project or we are going to produce any new product first of all we will choose some people so we will choose some uh, departments who is going to do that work and which departments are involved in that work so and uh, accordingly we are going to the management will issue some uh, orders so so and so person or so and so department is going to engage in this department in this uh, project so from so and so date you need to do that type of work so that order should be sent to the person who is concerned so whether it is the department head or what is uh, whether it is the uh, person who is engaged in that work so that information should be passed to the person so this production control will be looking after whether that information is passed to that person or not they will be checking and if not they are going to uh, share that information with all the people who are involved in that project and to ensure that various inputs like man machine materials are available in the required quality and quantity so before starting of the production they are going to check whether adequate quantity of material and tools are available in the uh, stores department or not and uh, whether it will uh, it is going to check whether all the machines which are to be engaged in that project are in uh, good condition or not and uh, uh, is that department is having uh, the right quantity of men in order to finish the work within the due date or not so likewise whatever the resources are there so it is going to see that all the uh, things are in the right quantity uh, available at the right time and making efforts to adhere the production schedule so it always to always try to see that uh, the production schedule is not going to be changed because they are going to prepare the schedule in order to meet the delivery dates of the customer so if that schedule is changed means automatically the delivery dates of the customer is also will be changed and accordingly it we need to uh, pay more amount of money for the customer uh, other than the things so in order to uh, eradicate all those problems we need to see the sppc uh, the production control will see that uh, all the departments are adhered to that uh, production schedules or not so whatever the schedule that is prepared by the planning department accordingly it is going the work is going or not they are going to check and uh, they are going to prepare the reports so to ensure that goods are produced according to the prescribed standards and quality norms also they are going to check in between whether these products are being uh, manufactured according to the uh, customer needs whatever the customer has uh, uh, asked about uh, whether it's the standards or the quality norms about the quality or whatever the uh, various standards that he has asked accordingly uh, the components are being prepared or not they need to check and if there is any deviation they are they need to make the correction then and there itself and they need to try to improve the uh, quality and standards of that products so to undertake the best and most economical production policies so production policies means how we are going to achieve the production in time so for every uh, organization they are going to have some policies so whatever the policy that are they are going to uh, use means uh, if it is a continuous industry means they are going to work 24 by 7 uh, if uh, it is a batch type of production they are going to work for 8 hours or 10 hours or 12 hours a day likewise uh, some uh, uh, production policies are deferred for different different types of uh, 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 industries so likewise whatever the policies are there so according to that policy we need to make it uh, undertake the best and uh, most economical policy and uh, to ensure rapid turnover of the production finally uh, we need to uh, try to strive to achieve more uh, production with the minimal effort so this ppc combine combinedly will always try to achieve that production uh, and improve the uh, production standards 
and the turnover of the industries by minimizing the problems that are next the most important uh, uh, thing uh, in ppc in the uh, is nothing but uh, the structure of ppc so the total structure of the ppc will be looking like this so so it is divided into three different uh, forms one is pre planned level planning level and control level so pre planning level we can uh, uh, say that uh, it is it will be undertaken in the management level and uh, planning level will be in the uh, manufacturing department level and execution is the production level so in these three uh, constructively we can call it as a the structure of the ppc so or it consists of various functions whatever the uh, work that is going to be done by the ppc department it is uh, these are the various things so that's why pre planning is also called as macro level planning is called as micro level why macro means it is an overall view so management will always look out uh, overall view uh, we need to uh, get a go, uh, good amount of production we need to our product should have good demand we should have good products uh, profits so in that sense uh, the industry management will be looking after so in order to achieve that uh, uh, macro level uh, planning so this micro level planning should be very effective so where the resources planning or process planning scheduling estimating and uh, control dispatching inspections expediting evaluations and everything whatever the other terms are there so all these works are to be carried out uh, in order to achieve the uh, macro planning level so uh, with this uh, we have seen today's class we have seen about uh, what is the need of the uh, ppc what are the objectives of uh, production planning and production control so in the next class in detail we'll see what are the various functions or elements of the production planning and control thank you